Okay, so hello everybody. So welcome to a very, I guess, impromptu stream here. Just an idea that popped into our heads quickly and we just said, hey, let's, let's do it for the heck of it. I mean, I'm not really doing anything else right now. Um, so it's Francisco and Andrew. Thank you for joining me for this one. As, uh, yeah, man. It's uh, 11 o'clock on a lovely Friday evening. <laughs> 11 o'clock on a Friday and we're, we're doing this because we can't go outside or interact with any other human beings for now. Uh, but we hope uh, some people can pop in here and we're just going to mess around with some some logos uh, we love logos me and andrew logos uniforms colors all that all that jazz and so yeah so and we're, we're just gonna spitball here and and go at random so i've got my uh photoshop up ahead and andrew i mean whatever you want to think of we can do i think uh last thing that i did here i'll show it on the screen was this and I posted it on Twitter, but uh, last major thing I did was this Tampa Bay Devil Rays or Tampa Bay Rays, like uh, various histories of their of their color schemes and and kind of applying it to their I guess three different eras: their inaugural era, their their green era, and their their navy era. At this point, I thought I thought it turned out really well, to be honest. I mean, I'm so behind. I need to pull up the, the Twitch stream. Yeah, try and see if you can get it on there. Um, but yeah, I've got the, the, the Devil Rays uh, concept that I I created for you. With the three different... What they would look like with their, their different looks with each color scheme. I mean, as I've told uh, you and Charles ad nauseum... You know, I'm I'm very uh, partial to the, I guess in this case the middle logo, which was the logo that the Devil Rays used from I want to say 01 to 07. Yeah. Um, I mean, personally, of the three actual logos, which are on the uh, top left to bottom right diagonal, um, I think that honestly is the best. Um, you know, there's not nearly enough green in sports. It's true. It's true. And that's a, and that's a very nice green. Yeah. Yeah. It's funny. The Rays picked a, and, and I've never noticed it, but they do have a, an outline of blue there. That is correct. That I, I had never noticed either. It's, it's very subtle, but, um, it is indeed blue. Like it's the only, I think it's because of the black background. It's it's such a like when you separate it out, and I guess I can separate it out real quick. Give me a second to uh, select it. There we go. And just kind of make a, a a blank square here. Like that's how it looks right there. That's the shade of blue that they use. But when you put it against black. You can barely see it. It's, right. It's kind of a weird effect. Although, I I'm, I kind of wonder what it would look like if they had gone with this blue. Like that's what it would look like if they had just gone with the blue as the primary color, and I just have a generic blue, black, and white look, and not gone with green. Um, even then, it's a shade of blue that you don't see because most Major League Baseball teams go with like a royal blue or a navy blue. Right. They don't go with this shade of blue. Eventually, of course, the Rays would move on to a navy blue. Although now they've kind of worked in powder blue a lot more. Mm -hmm. uh, they've got their powder blue look, which I'm... Now that powder blue is coming back, I'm starting to become a fan of. Because a lot of teams are going with powder blue now. Um, the Texas Rangers just came out with a, a powder blue uniform. Um, well, they, not, I mean, they used to have one, but now they're they're coming back with another one. 
So I'm just gonna load up, uh, just in the background, I'll load up sports logos and truecolor.net. Fantastic websites. That is a great website. Um, especially True Color because you can get, like if you're looking for, I mean, especially if like you're trying to paint your house or something or you're paint your rooms or whatever, whatever uh, sports team you want it to look like. I mean, you can get the, the exact color from this website. It's beautiful. It's truly beautiful. So, um, so let me look at the double rays real quick. Go down here. Because I think you and I agree they have to at some point consider rebranding one more time yeah i mean i would love if they could go back to the to the middle look mm -hmm. um but i don't know i i'd also be fine with the gradient that's definitely unique i mean some let's see well gradient is kind of coming back the, 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 the Los Angeles Rams have a gradient now mm -hmm. uh, it's from blue to yellow and their their new logo which most people are not fans of right uh, I don't think it's the gradient itself I think it's just the fact that it's just kind of like a a meh logo right and so Let's see. I'm looking for that exact shade of blue that the Devil Rays used. So, uh, 2005 through 2007. So that's the exact shade of blue. And let me see if I can get a screenshot here real quick and post it on here. So, give me a second. All right, so that's so there's the the 2005 through 2007 color scheme here. Mm -hmm. Let me zoom in. Let me just zoom in here if I can, if this thing will let me zoom in. Uh, I'll just do it myself. There, yeah, that's better. So there it is there, and that's how it is separated out. But once again, like you said, this green is kind of a little unique. I mean, I want to see it compared to the Oakland A's. Because they're really, at that time, they were the only, I mean, their only constant green team in baseball, really. Let's see, uh, 2011 through, through now. So let me get a print screen here. Ash. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, I'm here. Okay. Yeah, I'm kind of internet cut off for a second there. But uh, back again. So let's 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 keep this going. All right. Uh, da -da. Command V. Command V. What are you doing? Uh, let me get one more time. Print screen. There it is. All right, so that's. Uh, let me cut out all this other jazz here, so you can get a nice comparison of the two greens. So that's uh, deselect there. So that's the green that the actually. Huh. The Devil Rays and the A's use the same shade of green. Really? Yeah. Huh. Look at that. The same exact shade. So the Devil Rays didn't go with a unique shade of green. They just went with the same shade that the A's had. Interesting. Did not know that. Huh. You learned something new. Yeah. I, I could have sworn that it, it was a different shade, but I, I guess, guess... I guess it's one of those instances where, uh, I don't know, an optical illusion, basically. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, they, um, they... It's surrounded by dark colors, so that'll make it appear darker. Or yeah. Something like that. That's true. Like, the the green and gold, it, it's, it always seemed like their green was, yeah, darker, but not as dark as what the rays were wearing, but apparently they were wearing the same shade. Huh. All right. And the A's don't wear Kelly green here. All right, so are there any logos you want me to experiment with? Any looks? I can change colors, look at different eras. Maybe. Um... I mean, I got all of sports here, college football, every, everything. So, let's see. Um, well, you did mention the Marlins, and you posted a a look. I figure, just do that. All right, let's 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 go with the Marlins. Uh, they are my team. All right, so the Marlins. I mean, at least the the caps that they've worn. Uh, they wore primarily teal at the beginning right so let me let's create this file here so we're gonna make something similar to what I did here for the rays so go with this so there's the Florida Marlins old logo edge here come on there we go oh no no wonder it changed my keyboard all right back to it so let's make some room so they wore primarily teal and then they've worn let's see then with it a black uh, black background afterwards which um, I do say looks a lot better with uh, than the teal background I, I do enjoy the black one more no absolutely so let's go uh, let me get rid of this Get rid of this grid here so we can actually see these. Um, and then they had that for many years, and then they went with the Miami, the Jeffrey Loria era look. Now they had the. Oops, I thought I copied this. Give me one second. So let me see. Now they had an orange version of that cap that they wore very rarely that first season. And then the second season, they, I think, may have worn it a couple times, but then after that, it was just straight up uh, that cap with a black background. Right. And they eventually um, made it official that they no longer were going to have the black background as their or the orange cap as a as an option and then finally uh we have our our jeter era look which uh, as of now as of now the marlins don't have uh, an official alternate cap so we've got that one right there so those are all of their current looks uh, or their their three eras as well they've yeah just like the rays they've had three different looks right and um and let's see i'll try to make different versions of this so I guess for consistency's sake because I'll, I'll, I'll remove the teal background one because they only wore that for like two seasons 
and the orange one because like uh, pretty much like the other ones they only kind of wore it for two seasons so right. we're just gonna go with black on all of them all right so let me go back here just have these all right so we'll stop it there and then we'll just kind of make three different versions of these going across the board. So that's the one. <laughs> and if you ever do get Photoshop, Andrew, it's it's super fun. <laughs> I mean, I have GIMP. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, I've never used GIMP, to be honest. It's it's a poor it's poor man's uh, Photoshop. Let's be honest. Yeah, that's. Uh, but I, I've never, I've never used it. I've never tried. I, I can't, can't really tell you how I would do things on there. But uh, this is uh, this is what I got here. Uh, so this is not the latest version of Photoshop, because that is ex very expensive. <laughs> And I do not have the money for for that. All right, so now we got the three different looks, three different eras. So now we can kind of mess around with the colors here. All right, so and I'm just gonna pick from what Chris Creamer had on SportsLogos.net. Um, he doesn't have. I, I think lately he's tried to have all the official coloring and stuff. Right. With every logo, he checks up a true color. So, so now let's. Let's go with, I think the easiest to apply from one to the other would be this current look that they have, the dark blue, or not the dark blue, but like this, this blue with uh, red, that is a red shade, right. and, and see what we can do with the past logos. Now, this Marlin... I mean, I could change this mar like the the original Florida Marlin, to be all black like this Marlin. So let's let's see how that would look, and if I completely mess everything up, uh, let's see. Oops, that did not do what I wanted it to do. Uh, let's go here. There we go. All right. So, whoa! It has completely removed its eye and its gills. Do that. I mean, oof, all of that. It's, I mean, it's just the black silhouette here. Oof, hold on, let me, let me go back. This is gonna take a little work, actually. If I want it to look exactly like that one, you know what, no, no, that, that might be too much work, too, too hard. So we'll leave it like that. Let's just go with a shade of blue to replace all of the teal. So uh -huh. let's uh, do that. So now we've replaced all of the teal. Let's go with the gray now. They've got, I think that's a steel gray that the Marlins use now. So we'll replace all of that. It looks kind of funky though, to be honest. It looks almost kind of, I don't even know what, what, it, what color I would describe this as. But it, it doesn't look right to be honest and I I guess for consistency's sake the the dorsal fins of the marlin would be the same shade of blue actually hold on, hold on I think I'm might have to rethink this so let's go back go back to this we'll have the dorsal fins only be the shade of blue so let's zoom in Boom, boom, boom. Ah, no, that's not what I wanted. There we go. Oh boy. So, 
So Andrew, what what would you say is your favorite baseball logo of all time? Ugh. That's a hard question, isn't it? It's a very hard question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like I like a lot of them for different reasons. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I'm a particularly a fan of uh, logos that kind of have a hidden meaning to them. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, like for hockey. Um, you know, you've got the Hartford Whalers, which I think is one of the best logos of all time. I think it's yeah, that one probably is like the most brilliant logo ever created. Um, you know, the Minnesota Wild also have a pretty good one because it looks like a landscape, and I honestly thought it was just a like a forest landscape for so long, but right. in fact, it's actually a bear. Yeah. Um, you know, it's kind of like one of those, I was today years old when, uh, sort of situation. <laughs> yeah. When I found out that this, um, so for baseball, you've got the Milwaukee Brewers, the, yeah. the old one and now the current one, although they did a bit of a change with it. Right. Uh, they did update it a little bit. <laughs> Uh, Montreal Expos, that's another good one. Yeah. Yeah, the Expos are a good one. Um, I mean, call it, uh, it's it's probably just uh, personal bias, but I really like the old Marlins logo. You know... Uh, the original one. It's, it's, um... I guess it was part of an era where, I, I mean, logos used to be, um, the idea behind logos wasn't, you know, to plaster it on a TV screen or, or you know, or, or, or all types of merchandise. It was just, okay, this is what represents the team. That was it. Right. Now, nowadays, it's all about... Um, Okay, how can you re- how can this be reproduced across all different platforms and and merchandise and stuff? And that's why some teams change logos, right? For one reason or another, or, or for marketing purposes only. Yeah, like I don't know, but I I love the the Marlins logo, this old one. And again, like I said, I could, I'm probably just biased because you know I grew up a Marlins fan to a certain extent. Mm-hmm. Uh, let's see what else. I mean, obviously the Yankees is classic, right? I, I'm talking about the interlock NY. I'm not talking about the their official logo, right? Uh, yeah, yeah, the interlocking NY is. I mean, is... they might as well make that their official logo, but it's yeah, it's I guess for uh, tradition's sake that they don't. Although, um, yeah, this, it's hard to get this Florida Marlins look to kind of, I mean, it doesn't look that great with this color scheme, to be honest, especially with all the white. Let me see. I mean, that's as, that's as good as I can get it at this point. Let me zoom in on here. The, the Mariners have a pretty good one. And again, it's probably just by it because I know I sound like I'm, I'm grew up with a million teams but i actually kind of did uh for various reasons like i was uh on a marlins minor league uh on a marlins little league team growing up so Mm -hmm. i liked marlins plus my favorite player was yvonne rodriguez so i followed uh him to there uh you know the mariners because of ken griffey jr of course um so like I'm a fan of their S logo, um, you know. I'm also a fan of their their main logo, the uh, roundel or whatever they call it. It's probably you know roundels are are you know played out, but it all works sports. because it's a compass. Right. Yeah. No. That's it's brilliant. And the, yeah, it's, they're they're the Mariners. So of course, yeah. It that's all... the that's the only reason it works is because it's supposed to be a compass. Otherwise, I think it roundels are just so played out right uh you know i 
I like the old Twins logo, the the word mark, not the because they always have like a baseball background to it. Right. Uh, but just the Twins word mark. Uh, fun fact: if you look at the Twins word mark, uh, they underline the word tw- uh, they underline the word win. Yeah, yeah, it's very brilliant. It's 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 uh um it's really cool i like that and i'm really bummed that they they really neutered a really good look with the with their latest uh change look, their latest yeah. change yeah i mean they added a bunch of gold to their it's completely trim. i don't know why completely I, unnecessary and and it was like it wasn't cuz usually the teams they they change their look when they move into a new ballpark and all that stuff but they made that change after they had moved into to target field right so it wasn't like oh brand new ballpark brand new look it was just like hey let's just add gold to everything now yeah it's uh... although i do like that they brought back like their their retro logo with the the two giant twins shaking hands yeah. uh, i think they're called mini and polly yeah uh let's see i love the chicago white Sox logo yeah it's like a very i don't know old school classic feel and here's the thing i didn't realize this until a couple of years ago that was only created in 1991 yeah well they had a a, i think they when they they used to wear a red version of of that logo um i'm looking at it and they had they had some they had versions of it somewhat interlocking yeah. stocks yeah in the ba- yeah in the past but that particular design right uh well actually no yeah like if you go back to let's see well it wasn't their primary but on their uniforms back in oh, I'm, I'm going back here too with you. i see there's an alternate logo from 1951 to 1963 yeah uh, that had that design so, right and their uniforms had it too but like that is just such a great logo like that's definitely one of my favorites because it's it's iconic mm-hmm. and uh it's I don't know how to describe it necessarily, but it 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 has like two looks to it almost because it looks like just a random cool looking logo. Mm-hmm. It's like a random thing, right? But then you ha- dive in a little bit and you see it's S O X. Yeah, I, I there's some teams that I like their consistency. And that's the reason I like their logo, like the Kansas City Royals. I think the Royals, they've been so consistent with their look. The KC, the, the wordmark yeah. Royals, um, their road uniforms for the most part have looked this like they have Kansas City in the same cursive style as Royals. And they've, other than their black for black sake era in like the mid 2000s when everybody else was doing that too. Right but and then they got rid of that but they've looked very consistent ever since with the royal blue even the powder blue yeah still works for them kansas city just in general uh the chiefs and the royals have very good logos yeah yeah um let's see who else i I, detroit that's a very good logo yeah they have the, the classic tigers look to it Although, fun fact, uh, the logo that they use on their uniforms is actually different than, uh, or at least was different. They used two different logos. Right. For for a little bit. Yeah. The Yankees still do that, though. That's for sure. The NY on the Yankees uniform is different than the one on the cap. Right. Uh, let's see. Which I guess works. Because I think, uh, I mean, people have, like, 
had it with like the the same ny and with that the cap and it kind of doesn't work on the uniform it looks weird to be right to be honest maybe because we've seen it that way for so long that it's like any change to it it's like mm, i don't know about that you know right uh let me see and I'm, I'm having a hard time changing this this uh the cubs have a great logo uh i don't know i don't know if it's great i think it's just kind of simple it's like it's iconic I, I, yeah i guess because it's old i don't know if i would call it great I like the alternate cub logo, not the one that they have now that the cub, like the the entire cub walking. I like the one like the angry looking cub. Right. I like that. That's one of my favorite. Um, I'm trying to remove my logos. bias. I'm trying to remove my bias as much as possible. Like because... I, I honestly think a lot of alternate logos for teams are really great. Like the ones that they put on their sleeves. Right. Or some of them are even better than what they currently have. The, the rays because they still have the the actual ray on there on their sleeves uh, i like the a's with the the elephant yeah um, mainly because it's unique there's very few elephants in sports in north american sports <laughs> other than bama you know right um the uh, the pirates see. had a pirate flag logo that i really liked that they never really used which yeah I, like a jolly roger uh that i thought was better than what their current alternate logo is with the like the actual alive human being and not you know uh the skull and not cross baseball bats right which i think would look cool i mean maybe because i like the buccaneers logo so i kind of and maybe that's why they they ha they don't they don't use that because they don't want to be confused with the tampa bay buccaneers Right. That could be a thing. I'm trying to see what else. Uh, um, the Reds have a pretty iconic logo. Uh, the Reds uniforms, I still think that they should be wearing their 70s era uniforms. I agree. As a matter of fact, actually, uh, the guy who designed that that uh marlins concept that i showed you mm -hmm. uh he's going through all 30 teams and he his design was to bring back the old 70s look really that yeah because i think that makes most sense um because ah, come on um i think it, it was a cleaner look for one the reds have black in their color scheme which i still think is unnecessary <laughs> i've always thought it was unnecessary to be honest and um what was it and like i think that was probably their greatest era of baseball i always feel like teams when they they are super successful during an era they should just bring it back yeah i'm just like oh you guys are <laughs> like if you if they if the rays change to some i don't know pink and pink and purple or something and they win the world series it's like well you you guys are stuck with that now <laughs> right <laughs> yeah. which is kind of part of the reason i mean aside from the fact that i think it looks better Mm -hmm. uh, why I wish the Tampa Bay Lightning would go back to their old look. Maybe not necessarily the the old logo because I'm sure that could be tightened up a bit. Right. You know, that's very much a product of its time, which is the uh, early 1990s. Right. Uh, but the 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 color scheme, which is primarily black mm -hmm. with a significant amount of blue, uh, you know, is much more balanced color scheme back then and you've shown me lightning concepts that have worked in black right i think it would be easier to do now that steve eiserman isn't with the team anymore like it was it was incredible i remember the whole process when they were going through for the new uniforms and 
it was it took a ton of arm twisting just to add a teeny bit of black as an outline for the numbers right and it took even like a ton of arm twisting like practically to the point of breaking his arm to put lightning bolts on the pants otherwise he was gonna it was truly be like the detroit maple leafs yeah as as a lot of people derisively call it because seriously it's the it's the the it's literally the same blue or <laughs> at least pretty close it's the child of the, the leafs and the and the red wings it's right, the striping it's... pattern of the red wings with the leafs color scheme like here, hold on. Just, I'm going to uh, indulge myself here for a second. Here we go. Going back to ColorWorks. Mm-hmm. Well, it's TrueColor.net. It used to be called ColorWorks. Well, when I pull it up, I just type in color. Oh, it still that shows ColorWorks. Yeah, but... exactly. And it redirects and stuff. Right. Um. And plus, I started using it when it was called ColorWorks, so yep. old habits die hard. Oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, have you seen, have you ever heard of Frozen Face Off? Yes. Yeah, they're they're fantastic, too. And there's an, I think, they do. Yeah, so Tampa literally uses the same blue as. Really? It's literally the same blue as the Maple Leafs. And the uniform design is literally the same, with the exception of the lightning bolt, uh, and the teeny tiny black outline on the numbers. Otherwise, it would literally be the exact same uniform I, in blue. I would have thought that the lightning's blue was like maybe a hair darker than the, the leaf's blue. No, according to, and again, I think it might, well, but here, let's see, back in, back, they did, so they did darken their blue back in 2001 to the current blue that it is now. Uh, it used to be a lot lighter. They called it Hawaiian blue. Hawaiian blue. Uh, but they darkened it a lot. Uh, quite a bit, several shades. Um, like the, so Hawaiian blue, the difference between the Hawaiian blue, uh, I'm just going by RGB here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, the green aspect went from 61 to 32, and the blue aspect went from 165 to 91. So it became a lot more like a navy blue as opposed to interesting it's not a sky blue but it's it's definitely a lot lighter mm -hmm. um, but even still their their old logos were just a lot nicer uh, a lot more balanced a lot more timeless let's be frank i think uh, I don't like. Strange. I like strange. their current logo. I, I sometimes. I, I like the logo. I, I, mean, I, I think the minimalism works for them, but um, I I do think. I mean, like think of a thunderstorm. The clouds aren't. It's not sky. It's not blue. It, it's, it'll be black. You know, the clouds. Right. Are, you know, it'll be dark outside. You know, the lightning bolts. You know, you think of it on a black background the white lightning bolts you know right i mean it makes sense in that sort of way i mean if i'm being honest i had a lot of problems with it initially just because it kind of looked like the uh the incredibles logo <laughs> yeah uh, but it's kind of grown on me on me a bit although going back to concept art um there are people where they they added a bit of dimension to it instead of it just being a flat logo they added a little bit of shading a little bit of almost gave it like a three-dimensional look a little bit yeah and they also added different colors to it so it's not just plain one color mm -hmm, mm -hmm. uh 
but I like the logo. It's fine. It took me a while. It grew on me eventually. But, I mean, even it doesn't have to be an exact replica of what they used to wear, but at least get damn close. Yeah, that's, that's the... And again, it goes back to what you're saying, which is, uh, you know, once you win a championship, you know, you're kind of locked into that. Yeah. I, I, very few teams kind of change looks and then they win and then change look again and then they win again. Like the, I would say the, I mean, some teams are just successful that way. I'm trying to think of a team that's that recently had to change their look and then uh, after a championship, it's very hard to find somebody that's done that. Um, well, I guess uh, the Pittsburgh Penguins to a certain extent. Well, well <laughs> they the funny thing is they went back to a look um, yeah, they've had two successful eras. Uh, the Vegas gold look and their their yellow gold look. And either way, uh, fans were more receptive to them going back to their 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 old look from the 80s and 90s. Right. Because, hey, that's you know, Mario Lemieux, Yarmir Yager, and they won those two cups initially. And then... They went throughout their whole playoffs wearing their alternate uniforms uh, at home, and then they won it again when they made the full switchback. So, right. Um, so it was kind of like they won that that 2009 one, and then they kind of did like a half and half with the 2016 championship. So yeah, the Penguins. Yeah, that's a good example. Uh, bring it back to baseball, though. Um, I mean, uh, I'm looking through NL logos now. I mean, there's uh, Braves is pretty good. I th yeah, the Braves are. I mean, they're one of the teams that uh, they made. They have had several different looks. I mean, they had like the like the feather look and stuff from like when Hank Aaron was playing with them back right. in the in the um, the sixties and seventies, but. I, I I like the Braves look because of once again the consistency of it. Everything everything kind of works for whatever they 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 whether they put on a red background or a navy background. And they've kept it the same look for so long and of course they were super successful in it with it in the 90s and early 2000s that it's like, well, how can they change at this point? Right. They they just can't. They just can't do it. It's 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 too iconic now, um, and and of course they're, and this is the same thing that I, I like consistency between like the road and the home uniforms. Right. The Atlanta script looks just like the Braves script. I'm like, okay, that that works. It all matches. Right. Like, I think the Marlins used to have it not match uh, initially. I can take a look you know uh something that was pointed out to me uh well not pointed out but i read it in an article mm -hmm. uh you know it was interesting someone i never realized this but the predominant uh, the pro prominent predominant mm. style for baseball uniforms is to have the team name for home uniforms to have right. the team name on the front right and then to have the city name on away uniforms right um and it i forgot who it was but it pissed him off to no end when teams don't do that <laughs> well the texas rangers do that um the marlins do that as well the rays do that it's it's just all rays. Yeah, it's all rays. Yeah, they don't have a Tampa Bay. Uh, they do have a Tampa Bay script, but they they only I, I don't know they probably use it on like their stationery or something, but they never use it on their uniforms. Right. But even then, it still looks like a uh, a medical facilities <laughs> <laughs> font, as I've shown you already. Right. And 
it's unfortunate because it's it's a really you know their old logos used to have a lot of uh you know panache or whatever you want to call it it used mm -hmm. to be very flashy and they kind of sterilized it with with the 08 to present look yeah because now it's just like you know change the script and it's like and it's it's so hard for them to go back though because as soon like i've looked at the rays records like, their only like successful seasons have been in this current logo set. Exactly, but it was such a drastic change. Like if you look at their 2007 season and their and their 2008 season, they basically flipped their record, <laughs> win the AL East, win the American League Championship, <laughs> right, and then make the playoffs. You know, like three of the next five seasons, or whatever, and they you know, they 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 recently made it again. Like they. Like, if you look at, uh, like, it's like a tale of two decades. Right. It's like, man, they were one of the worst teams ever. And ever since then, I've been a very solid baseball team. Yeah, I don't know what happened, but something, like, clicked. Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't necessarily know... We still haven't won everything yet. Right. I think there's still time... Uh, for a lot of people, it's. I mean, the hope is. Uh, I mean, the hope for Rays fans is that it won't take a World Series championship to get a new ballpark. Because that's basically what it took for the Marlins. Right. Even then, it was like. <laughs> it wasn't set in stone initially. So the hope isn't that, oh, it'll take another World Series run or a World Series championship to save the Rays or, or to not have them split with Montreal. Um, yeah. Like, if you see, uh, have you seen um, uh, John Boyce's History of the Mariners? Oh, yeah. That's, yeah, basically the Mariners played for their lives right. in Seattle in 95. And even then, it was the closest of calls. Yeah. Um, but I'm uh, going back to logos. Um, was it? Wait, hang I, on. I'll be right back. Yeah, go ahead. So I'll just talk to myself right now. So I've got pretty much most of this down pat however this it's this is why i did this last the loria era miami marlins look with all those colors and everything that's gonna be the hard part how do i turn that middle logo and apply it to the first era and the current era so uh, I guess uh, I guess you would say the Huizenga era and well technically the Sherman era, but I'll say the Jeter era, and that's that's gonna be hard. Um, I don't think the Florida Marlins look looks great with either of the other schemes. If you're trying to make it look like the other ones, however, I think I probably could improve that one with the current colors. Uh, and the Miami Marlins one, or the L'Oreal Marlins look, this one looks half bad with the current color scheme. But the lack of detail on the Marlin kind of doesn't help. As I, I like the detail on the Marlin, at least a little bit of detail that they do have on the current Marlin. Um, it's not overly detailed and that's the that's the issue with overly detailed logos is you have to account for every single uh, element of that logo every single shape and color there so 
the Florida Marlins look, even though it's it's highly detailed, it's very very beautifully made logo. To be honest, if you were gonna make a fish logo and vectorize it, that's I mean that's the perfect look. I mean you can clearly tell it's a Marlin. Um, but like the Loria era look, kind of hard to tell if it's a Marlin or not. Just saying. I mean, you, I mean, if you if you didn't know it was the Marlins, what would you think that was? I mean, um, it could be like a space logo or some sort of. I mean, yeah, the, <laughs> the New York Jets had a kind of shaped logo like that too. So that's. That's the thing. So let me see. I'm trying to think how I'm going to tackle the Loria era look with Huizenga era and Jeter era. Well, let's let's start. Let's start with changing the shade of black. Even though I think the shade of black is the same across the whole board, but for some reason Chris Creamer has three different shades of black with the Marlins looks for some reason so we'll just do that for consistency's sake anyways although hold on let me say give me a second here so that's how it looks there and matches across the way all right well all right we'll just stick with Chris Creamer's thing I don't know I, mean, I think he gets the official stuff but for some reason it comes out looking like that so let's uh, make this all black. Oops. Sorry. Ah, I went back too far there. Actually, give me a second. To try and make this. Let's add 100 to the tolerance to really get every single nook and cranny of the of these logos here. Try this one more time. Okay. Try this one more time. Okay. Oh, ah, gosh darn it. I dropped my phone. All right. Back to it now. All right. So, hmm. It's gonna be a bit tough here. So give me a second to figure this out. All right, let's try with the the Jeter era look first because I think that would be the easiest to convert from one to the other, and then we'll we'll try and get the Heizenga era out of the way. So first things first, let's zoom in here real quick. Get into this. And figure out what we can do with these Marlins logos. Um, so I guess we can grab this orange and apply it here. Hold on, give me a second. Let me get some of this contiguous. So that goes like that. So we'll do that first, and then we'll grab the gray. Grab the gray here and see what we can do with changing this. Oops. All right, uh, bring it back. Bring it back, bring it back. All right, do that. Do that to that all right and I guess we'll change the red to orange real fast like that and that's nice and easy I think so we'll do that first now then now we need to change the shade of blue on the M here. Like I can do it. Or it's gonna take a little 
maneuvering here as the tail the tail fin of the marlin actually m meshes with the M here and actually leads to the rest of the background as well there's no real outline to it so hmm now there's a gray that goes around the Miami Marlins logo the Loria era logo here and I could try and change everything to that gray that's blue however don't really want to do that and I want to see what I can do with this fin here and change that to this blue color to at least have this this with that but actually let me let me try something here we'll go with this make the mouth this blue color here because that's kind of where the mouth is there and this gray can go on this as well so let's go with ah whoa there we go <clears throat> actually let's grab this gray here too ah once again not watching where I'm clicking there we go all right so now <laughs> My issue is, where the heck am I going to put that yellow? Well, actually, there's one place where I think I could put the yellow. And it's basically right here on top. That's it. That's where I'm going to put the yellow. Hold on, let me, let me get every single portion of that yellow there. Ah, gosh darn it, Photoshop. Just click for me. Alrighty, let's kind of go all the way around that and boop uh, let me turn on turn off contiguous there and then boom there we go that's better turn it off now I'm gonna go here let me save real quick actually because I'm messing around with this and I don't want to lose my progress in case my computer explodes because I've gone this far gone this far I don't want to lose my my place here so hmm all right now I want to make the inside of this M white because I think that's what would make most sense here all right hey, I'm back hey you're back yeah I'm having a hard time converting <laughs> the loria era marlins logo to the current era and to the past era so i'm tacking it's, it's 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 not easy right now but i'm gonna see i'm gonna do my best to try and apply apply it like with the rays getting the gradient onto the old looks wasn't really wasn't that hard and in, in hot in like in comparison to this but that uh that loria logo i mean Say what you will, it was probably the most unique in baseball up to that point. Honestly, I still think it is. It, yeah, no team has really gone that bold with with their color scheme, or even their or even the the the, the shape and size of the logo. Um, New Era said it was the largest logo that they ever created on a cap. Really? On, a, on an official Major League Baseball cap. Not like, you know, the the myriad of other caps and stuff that they make on the right. side as merchandise. No, this is official on the field cap. It was the largest logo that they've ever created. Huh. So, um, I mean, so now the Padres changed back to the brown and yellow now right which huge fan of because it's probably I can, it's hard to find a different team in sports that wears brown the Cleveland Browns do and they just change back to um, 
their old a modern version of their old look now which uh-huh. I, I think is a home run i think they hit a home run with their new look to be honest it's a good balance between or touchdown the the football football words there but yeah yeah i think it is i i like the brown uniform i think that's pretty cool i like the the stripes on their socks i think it all looks very very nice the padres too as well but i don't like the the swinging fl- the swinging fryer logo that they used um as an alternate uh, if you go and look at the padres set of logos if you look at their like 98 era logos they have uh, a swinging fryer there that i think would have would have been a nice modern up or a mo- modern update to the old one that they created um and would have matched the the current look but the padres change their uniforms every two years so right <laughs> they might use it anyways them and the Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks are also another team that I, that changes their uniforms and stuff like every two years. They can't seem to decide what they want to do. Um, although I love the uh, the turquoise color that they added to their color scheme. Uh. I think it's probably I other than their original purple look, which worked. And of course, they won the World Series in that, so it's like, you know, you guys go back to that look, and we wouldn't be nobody would nobody would bat an eye. Uh, I'm sure, a lot of people would be happy, but I think they um, they they did a really good job with that turquoise color that they chose because it's it's not like the like. Turk like the the green slash tealish look that they had before. I think it's kind of like a modern kind of electric update that really works for them, especially in Arizona. Um, kind of like um, like the, the Arizona Coyotes, how. As much as their their current logo and color scheme isn't bad, but I think everybody kind of thinks, hey, why don't you just wear what you you wore originally from like the '90s? That the, the that Coyotes look with the like the Kachina look, as they call it. I love that look. Yeah, it's so unique. Like, and it it works for them. It works for them. It works for Arizona. I think Arizona, uh, their teams can kind of get away with stuff like that because they're in a unique in a unique place with a unique style and history. That it was a nice nod to like their Native American heritage and stuff. I think that was uh, that their their stripes as well on a hockey uniform are the most unique I've ever seen. You know, hockey teams. They, uh, for the most part, going traditional works for most hockey teams, but for some reason the Coyotes looked good uh-huh. with their look. Kind of like the Mighty Ducks too. They, they, them too, or that that look as well. I think the Anaheim Ducks should probably change back to that full time. You don't get eggplant as a color scheme in sports nowadays. Yeah. Th- you know, despite everyone's, uh, you know, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Despite everyone, you know, h- harping on, you know, oh, the logos were so tacky, yada, mm-hmm. yada, yada. Yeah. They had the the cojones to experiment a bit with colors and logos. Mm-hmm. And uh, you don't really have that these days. And... I think that some of the best some of the best color schemes came out of the '90s. That's true. Yeah, the '90s was kind of like I think we might be coming back to that soon again because the people that grew up in the '90s are the ones that are getting the jobs to do this stuff now. Right. So we're gonna see a comeback of this, of it. But 
because um, like the like the mid two thousands, I think was probably one of the worst eras for a lot of sports logos. Really, to be honest, I think the black for black sake, uh, uh, the shining example, the Toronto Blue Jays. Yeah. <laughs> there, if you if you had to, if I made a class on on sports uh, color logo uniform history, and I say this is emblematic of the era, the Toronto Blue Jays 2000s look would be it. It's like, yep. this is what teams are doing. And as soon as 2010 hit, this is what teams stopped doing. <laughs> it was so awful. I mean, it, it kind of lasted a little bit longer for college. Uh, yeah. You know, like, like case in point was the 2013, 2014, uh Fiesta Bowl between UCF and Baylor. Really? Hold on, let me go but hold on, let me look. So what do you what do you want me to see? It's look up the twenty fourteen Fiesta Bowl, the one between UCF and Baylor. The logo for the Fiesta Bowl or No 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 for the uniforms that Baylor used. Oh for okay, uh let's see. Two thousand fourteen Fiesta Bowl. Now, there were two of them, because one happened in January and one happened in December. So there were two in the same year. UCF, so you have to specify with UCF. Wait, how did that happen? Oh, was bowls. one of the national championship? No, uh, sometimes the bowls will get pushed around during uh, during the, like, sometimes they'll happen before the new year sometimes they'll happen i'll after. just i'll just type baylor since that's what you want me to see <laughs> well true yeah okay uh, so baylor versus ucf now, now bear in mind ucf or white yes okay now bear in mind baylor's color scheme is green and gold oh they went gold and black for this one which oh, did you guys win that one Yep, fifty-two forty-two. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't help that he, they went with the color scheme of the team they were facing. Exactly. Uh, it was like a scrimmage game. For, for now the... <laughs> here's here's the thing. That was I think. Hold on. Let I me to... let me um, let me at least copy it and put it on the screen uh, for whoever watches this in the future to see what we're looking at here. So there it is. Yeah, they went with like, and their their helmet was uh, reflective gold too, yep. like a mirror basically. Uh, yeah, and even their the uniform numbers were was like very shiny gold too. Yeah, everything was wow. They really went hard on that gold. <laughs> like UCF, they that is part of their color scheme is black, mm -hmm. so they get a pass obviously. Yeah, of course. Yeah, if, if if this was honestly, if if I saw this from like afar, like a j tiny little thumbnail, and I couldn't see the BU or anything, I would have thought that was UCF's uniforms that, that game, <laughs> right? It makes. Oh, here's a question that uh, maybe you know the answer to. Has any? Um, was it has any major college um, or major university changed their color schemes in like know, at least within this century good question I find it very hard now when you say change color scheme I'm assuming that you don't mean like what FSU did where they altered the shade of their garnet yeah no I, yeah yeah I don't mean yeah, we're like a like FSU a full, did like that a just for for consistency's sake, right? Um, I'm thinking I'm ta I'm talking about like basically like the Rays they went from or the Marlins they went from Rays went from green to navy uh, to green and black and like a darkish blue to navy powder blue yellow and white like something completely different. 
I find it very hard to to find that. I mean, I think that universities have a bit more of a like a permanence to them and tradition. Mm-hmm. Yeah, uh, they, <laughs> they don't want to. <laughs> they don't want to piss off the boosters now. Right. So, yeah. S- well, not just that. There, there. Are, there are more traditions when it comes to college sports. It's just, it's undeniable Mm -hmm. uh, than when it comes to pro teams. Right. Uh, And, you know, that's part of the reason why I love college sports more than the pros is because, uh, I don't know. It's just those traditions. Yeah. I mean, for me, yeah, I mean, you can always count on on those traditions. Like, I can always count on. I can always count on. Like, if I go to Tallahassee this year to see the Seminoles, they're gonna be wearing garden and gold, and Chief Osceola is gonna ride out on Renegade and and, and throw the spear into the in, onto the field. You know, <laughs> like right. I, like in baseball, and, it's or in, in professional sport, then it's h- highly unlikely you're gonna. Uh, you, well, it's not highly unlikely, but um, they will mess with certain things if they're if a new owner comes in or something like that, you know. Right. Uh, you know, colleges are forever. <laughs> Especially my student loans. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so I gotta think I know there are some schools that have different color schemes between their academia and their academic and their athletic that's true uh, case in point is UCF we use a different gold we use like a million different golds mm-hmm. um, although we've gotten a bit better uh, but I still I'm not a fan of how we have different colors. I think, well, that's more, I, I, I think at some point they'll, somebody will try and, especially whoever's in charge of their brand and stuff like that, their marketing should probably be like, you know, we should have the same color scheme throughout all of our stuff just for consistency's sake. Right. And... I mean, I'm all about consistency. Like, UM is pretty... Like, UM uses their... Their... Athletic logo... As their logo for pretty much everything outside of athletics. I mean, look at uh, U-Health. They use the they use the logo that's on the side of their football helmet. You know? And, you know... Um, like even the teams that had to switch from because of their you know the whole Native American uh, tribe name controversy right even, even those teams didn't change their color scheme like North yeah, Dakota honestly, or, I cannot... or, or, or Illinois you know? I honestly cannot think of a major school that has changed its color scheme mm-hmm That'd be a good question to ask on on RCFB, maybe. Yeah. Uh, can you can any of you name an uh, example of a school changing their color scheme like a professional sports team does? Because even even teams that haven't been relevant in a long time in their in whatever. <laughs> whatever sport i mean mainly it's football football's the sport <laughs> unless you're like north dakota or north carolina or or Duke, who's more about their more about their basketball than their football but even then <laughs> there's no way those teams are going to change their colors that's for sure but i'm talking about maybe like a a program that I mean, they would have to be not good at anything, to be honest. 
Uh, where it's like, maybe if we change our colors, or our luck will turn around, you know? Because <laughs> usually teams, when they run into a lot of bad luck, they'll, they'll like in, in professional sports, they'll change their color scheme just to be like, oh, maybe this will work out for us. Uh, and to, uh, perfect example, the Rays. Mm-hmm. It's like, yeah, well, let's see what let's see what this does for us. Um, yeah, that's that's yeah. I, I can't think of any either, to be honest. And you would like if we if that happened, we would know about it. That's for sure. Um. Uh, let's see. The St. Louis Cardinals. I like their consistent logos too. I mean, they, they've been. I, I like how if you look across their era, they've they've oh, they've updated the birds on the bat logo mm-hmm. <laughs> every few decades to to match the modern era to the point where it is right now, where it's like okay, they're probably not they're probably not going to change their logo from here on out. At least the look mm-hmm. of the birds, they 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 look perfect. And um, I used to, I used to. Well, I still do. I, I still like um, logos that that used like the super realistic mascot or whatever, like the Seahawks. The Seahawks have or had uh, a super realistic looking Seahawk logo that they never used mm-hmm. as part of their as part of their their marketing. But if you look at it, and I think you have, um, it's a freaking beautiful logo. Like mm-hmm. it is, it is a work of art. Whoever did that logo, they they put time and effort only for the Seahawks to never use it. But I, I understand why they don't use it. It's it's mainly because. Uh, to get that logo onto a t-shirt is going to be really expensive and really hard to do. Um, a lot of Seminoles fans still don't get that, which uh, I, uh, I, I, I tend not to fight with, with them. <laughs> so they still want the old... Um, old Seminoles logo where it looks like bacon is on top of his face and he's and he's screaming from the burning. <laughs> uh, I, I like the current one. I, 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 I was fully on board with the with the change to, to the logo. Um, I, and if you look at the the explanations that they did uh, the videos and stuff to, to explain the reasoning why it's like wow it makes total sense of course uh, I've n- <laughs> I went back and looked at like the Seminoles merch that I had and I'm like yeah yeah I can barely make out whether this is a Seminoles logo or or just a, a amorphous white blob so um, I well, get see, that um Someone came up with a mm-hmm. a redesign that looks almost identical to that logo, the original logo, but it's more streamlined and therefore easier to duplicate at a smaller level on merchandise. Right. And everyone was like, go with that. <laughs> go with that. That would have been so much better, but obviously not. And I'll be. I'll, I'll try and find it for you, but I've I like s- that look so much better. I've seen it. I know what you're talking about, and hold on, I'll look for it too to put on the screen here. Give me a second. Zoom out this and Seminoles. I'll just put Seminoles redesign. Probably pop up. I think a lot of people are still fighting that fight. <laughs> So let's see. Ah, uh, here it is. Here it is. So I'll grab it. So let me zoom 
out of that, zoom out of there, and come back here, and post. There it is. Okay, so I, yeah, it's on the screen now. I'll zoom it in. Is this the one you're talking about? Um, you see? Um, Has it popped is up it yet? supposed to be on the Twitch screen? Yeah, it'll. Uh, I'm. I think it's a little behind, but it'll it'll pop up soon enough. Uh, yeah, that's the one I think. Yeah, that's probably it. Um, they've kind of. They've. So they basically, yeah, they updated the traditional hairline. They've. Da, 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 removed the difficult to replicate monogram, which I think the FSU part right there. Uh, I'll say this, and they basically copied and pasted the lines on his face to the to the old one there. I'll say this, I do like the curly feather, mm -hmm. mainly because it 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 basically matches the the roundel around it um but I'm trying to think of I think the fact that he has teeth in the new logo bothers people <laughs> <laughs> yeah i think that's part of it but even then the mouth of the old logo didn't look like a regular human mouth either um i think there's no way around i think there's no way to please both sides to be honest uh, i still don't mind the new one um and i've seen it now across the board on different especially hats you know because i'm a hat guy and it looks fantastic on a hat that's for sure um you know what sold me on that on that logo was seeing it on the baseball uniforms as a as a side patch mm -hmm. seeing it on the baseball uniform really kind of sold it sold it to me because you're not going to see that logo really on the on the football uniform it appears on the football uniforms but you don't see it prominently so um like honestly you won't and it's really how it looks like on on the uniforms that really sells it for me for pretty much a lot of sports to be honest because a lot of teams don't have their primary logo uh on their uniforms they have secondary marks or or, or different like like uh, letter or word marks and stuff like that but uh, like FSU doesn't, I mean, it's just, it's just the the spears on the helmets and and stuff, or, or their baseball cap has the the FS logo. Uh, what's UCF's uh, baseball uniform like? I don't really looked. They have a few. All right, let me. See. What's their primary though? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll let me look on, search for it real quick. UCF baseball uniform. Is it? Hold on, and I'll, I'll I'll copy and paste it here. But hold on, they got a couple here. I'm not talking to you, Siri. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right. Um, trying to see. They're showing mostly the football. <laughs> I don't get it. Is it? They they have a white one that has knights across the the chest. Right. We don't really have a primary, though, because, um... And I'm, not, I'm trying not to look inside the store from Fanatics, because those are probably just, like, generic baseball uniforms that they make. Right. We, we don't really have primaries. We rarely reuse a uniform these days. Really? Because the Seminoles have had the same look for a long time. Right. Um, you know, thanks to Scott Frost, um, 
you know, our tradition is being not traditional. Mm. So basically, you come you come out with a new look every season. Basically, yeah. Well, maybe not a new look every season. Or every other season or something. Or have multiple alternates. Right. We, we don't really have a primary set anymore. Okay. Yeah, because, hold on, let me... Let me copy this one here. It's basically a black version of the white one I just saw, but I'll try and post it on the screen. Give me a second. So there's there's the black one. I'll make room for the white one. So do you see it? Uh, one sec. Command V. I'm kind of multitasking. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. And then I'll zoom this in a bit here, even though I shouldn't be doing that. It'll get all pixelated. But so there's those are the two that I see from searching. At least the consistent ones that are with actual players playing. So basically a white one and then a black one with gold piping. Ooh, here's a question. Are you a fan of piping on a baseball uniform? Yes. Really? Mm-hmm. Hmm. I think it depends on the content. I don't like like the one on this UCF black one here. I don't like it when the piping is kind of clashing with with the entire word mark. Uh, uh, example, the Detroit Tigers. I think they have piping on theirs, but because the Old English D is only on one side, it doesn't right. clash. It just kind of makes it all nice and clean. So I like that. But I, I think it, maybe it's because of the National Hockey League and the the Reebok Edge piping that so many teams use that kind of like turn me off to piping. Mm -hmm. I think that's probably it. Because uh, many people hated that. All right. So I'm trying to find more UCF baseball uniforms. Uh, nope. Oh, that's Alabama. I'm getting different college baseball teams. I'm not getting UCF. Uh, da, da, da. uh I'm getting a bunch of UCF football uniforms, that's for sure. Especially your uh your space uniforms. Yeah, those were on point. I love those. The, the different versions of those. The citronauts. I see one on Pinterest here. So, and then they have, uh, let's see, I got one here on, I'm going to post. Ah, that is way too loud. But, um. Okay. It's just kind of like a generic kind of block look with it not kind of it doesn't look like your normal knight's word mark hold on i can't really see it, it it'll pop up soon and I'll, I'll zoom it in that must be an old one yeah yeah it looks like it yeah because it's, it's it's russell athletic that was we used it. to have this really cool looking uh um we used to have this really cool um a logo that we used excuse me prior to the um prior to the uh, logo change in 2007 yeah you guys have the on your helmets and your hats 
like the current UCF look. Like uh, I always let me thought. See if I can, like let me see if I can find it. Because a lot of college baseball teams don't have the normal, like, um, uh, letters that they like they would use on a football helmet or something. So they have like kind of like an old timey baseball. Uh, well, that's what we used to have. Look for their baseball teams at least. Like Florida State, uh, I'll pop up Florida State baseball. I'm trying to see if hat. I can find it. So here's a generic Nike Florida State baseball hat here, and I will make a separate look here. But so yeah, the the FS logo that Florida State uses for their baseball uh, team or a bunch of other teams too. Uh, Miami, the Hurricanes have a, have an old-timey, like old English M for their baseball hats. So Miami Hurricanes baseball. Oh, something I found out in the, uh, the stream here of the other uh, the last baseball game I did the Marlins and the Phillies mm -hmm. the um, Placido Polanco played college baseball at Miami Dade College really yeah and that's that's where he was drafted out of huh. uh, he was I think he's f f uh, from the Dominican Republic and then uh, ended up playing college ball at uh, Miami Dade that was an interesting tidbit there yeah, so here's the Hurricanes. Uh, if I can copy and paste this, if this website will let me copy and paste. There it is. All righty. So here's the Hurricanes with an old timey uh, Old English M and even an Old English script Miami across their uniform. Which, uh, I don't know, kind of works. Kind of works for me. But uh, let's see, uh, UCF baseball hat. I'm trying to get a bunch of generic baseball hats with the current logo, but not. Wait, hold on, is it this one? Hold on. I think I found it. So let me post it on here. Is it this one? Give it a second to update on the screen. Any day now. I'm watching it on Periscope and <laughs> it's still on the Miami Hurricanes player. Yep, that's the one. That's the one? That still looks pretty good. I agree. It would be cool to use that as a throwback. Yeah. Like, even that, it's kind of, like, you see, like, in the middle of the U? Uh-huh. You can kind of, like, make a modern update, make it kind of look like a lance. Yeah, we could. It, you know? There's just a, there's different ways to play with that. I like that. Yeah, we... Because um, what they currently the use... Like I, I mean, it's not bad. It's just it's what I see on their football jersey. And most college teams, baseball teams, have an old like a old timey baseball look. So this would match very well. I'm surprised they didn't like use the C as as like the the middle part of the F to kind of make it all one thing, but. That's fine. I mean, I'm happy with the current logo we have now, so. Uh, no, I, I don't mind the logo, but I'm just saying, like, for baseball only, this would be perfect to have a... To match the other college teams, too. They, yeah. They, they always have, like, a separate, different baseball logo. Uh, and 
even if even if it doesn't really match the rest of their of their luck like even the hurricanes all right so going back to what we were originally here for <laughs> the marlins look um that's kind of what i got It'll pop up on the screen soon enough, but this is it. Um, I still have to get the last part, the Florida Marlins look, but uh, the Loria era look doesn't look too shabby on on the Jeter era, but even then, it still doesn't, you know, look right. Yeah, I still like the old logo. I still like the old logo. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's... the color set as well. Yeah, it's it's hard. It's hard with the. Uh... I think the one thing I could change with the current look with the old colors is the color of this, uh, the M. I think I could turn that to gray. Actually, I should turn that to gray. <laughs> probably the one thing I could change um, for a lot of it to kind of match the first one because the Marlins didn't have that much orange in their color scheme initially get some anti-aliasing in there real quick boom 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 that works a little better actually a lot better to be honest um, even and even just to add some white to it you can get rid of this and that Boom. yeah that's better I mean that works a lot better Hmm. Now, ooh, all right. So we're 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 over an hour into doing this, but so I think we should end it. Mm -hmm. But you know what we should do? I think it's a good idea. Um, let's go to college. We'll, we'll do straight college, college sports next time. All right. And we'll we'll pick two rival schools and we'll flip their colors. Uh. <laughs> so you get to see USF in UCF colors and vice versa, or Florida State in Gators colors. Ooh, <laughs> oh, it kind of makes you feel awful inside. Or Alabama in Auburn colors. It's gonna be great. I, this is a I don't I don't think I've ever seen that to be honest. There's a lot of places that have done that. Oh really? Well, mm -hmm. I've never done it and I've never seen it, so I want to do it for myself and for us to do it and 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 just do something that's completely wrong. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so yeah, we're done with this. I think I've uh, I, I won't finish the last. Oh, well, I'll finish the last four of Marlon's look and post it later on. But this is a fun idea, so we'll, we'll try and think of think of some new ones. All right. Sounds good. All right, Andrew. So yeah, you have a good night. Whoever is listening to this and whenever I post this for other stuff, have a good night as well. We're we're done. Adios. All right. Have a good night. <laughs>